Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this, um, this shawl. As you can see, it is a V-shaped shawl and it features um, the granny triangle design and a frilly border which I absolutely love. So this is a really easy um, project to crochet. As always the free pattern will be available on my blog selinaveronit.com and I will be linking um, that in the down bar. So for this project I used one skein of Rico Creative Degradé wool. I think it's shade fuchsia. I will be linking all the details in the down bar and obviously on my blog too. I also used a 45 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle and that's all you will be needing for this project. I will be speaking in US terms with British terms in brackets and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That really helps out my channel. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page. The link will be in the down bar also. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. Okay, so to begin this tutorial, you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and create a slip knot. And now just pop your hook through and tighten. And now you will be um, chaining four. So just go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. Once you've chained four, you will be um, slip stitching through that first um, chain like so to create a mm -hmm. circle and so we will be working um, inside the, this circle and so now that you've done this you are going to be um, chaining four once again one two three and four and so what I am going to be doing, like I said, is working into this center and also I am going to be um, fastening in my loose end as I go. So now that you've chained four, this counts as your first double crochet plus one chain. Okay, so now that um, you've chained four, you will be placing three double crochets within this center. So just to create your double crochet, just wrap your yarn around your hook, go into um, that center, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through two, loop and two loops and take your yarn and pull through two loops. And that creates your double crochet. So now you are going to be placing two more so that you have three in total. So one, two, and that creates three double crochets total. Now you are going to be chaining two, one and two, and placing a, another three double crochets within this center. So just go ahead and place three more double crochets within this center like so and to finish off this row you are going to be chaining one and placing one last double crochet inside this center and this is what you have so as you can see this creates your first row of um, one double crochet chain one, three double crochets chain two, three double crochets chain one and one double crochet. So this is your first row. So um, we finished here. What you are going to be doing is turning your work and once again chain four. So one, two, three and four and this counts as and this counts as a double crochet and chain one. 
Now you are going to be working directly into this next space here with three double crochets. So one, two, and three double crochets. Okay, so now that you have your three double crochets, you are going to be chaining one and go directly into the next space which is also the center and place three double crochets so one two and three okay so now that you've placed three double crochets chain two one and two and place three more double crochets inside that space so one, two, and three, and this is um, what creates your center space. Now chain one and go into the next space here with three double crochets, one, two, and three and to finish off this round chain one and place another double crochet inside that last space and this creates row two of your project okay so now for the next round it's going to be a repeat of um, row two over and over so now for row three chain four one two three four and as you can see this is a repeat of the previous row and so this counts as your first double crochet chain one go back into um go into um the chain space here and place three double crochets into that so one two three chain one go into the next space and place three double crochets into that one two and three chain one and go into the top um, space which is also the center and place three double crochets one two three, chain two and place another three double crochets and three, chain one. Now go into the next space with three double crochets, one, two and three chain one and go into the next and last space with three double crochets one two three chain one and place a double crochet one last double crochet and this is what we have so this is what we have for row three and as you can see our pattern is really building up so um, I will be showing you one more row however you can really see how this is pa this pattern is growing um, so you can see how um, this pattern is growing um, from row after row so now for row four you are going to be chaining four one two three and four and this counts as a double crochet as always and chain one space go into this first space with three double crochets and this is what we will be doing row after row okay so you've placed three double crochets chain one go into the next space with three double crochets one two and three double crochets chain one go into the next row with three double um space with three double crochets 
chain one and go into the top space which is also the center with three double crochets chain two and three double crochets chain one go into the next space with three double crochets one two and three Just. and then go into the next space with three double crochets so as you can see this pattern is building up chain one and we've reached um, we've now reached the last um, space where you will be placing three double crochets one two and three chain one and place one last double crochet in this space and this is what you should have so um, this um, this pattern is really easy as you can see this will be um, a repeat over and over so you will be repeating this for a total of 41 rows so that's the amount of rows that I have I will be um, placing on my um, on my blog um, the exact measurements so don't forget to check that out and now I'm just going to show you how to create your border so obviously um, you will be um, crocheting your 41 rows before um, crocheting your border but I'm not going to um, be doing that I'm just going to show you how to um, crochet your border directly so I'm going to show you directly on this sample how to make your um, border so just imagine this is a larger shawl so um, to begin you will be turning your work in chaining one and then just go ahead and place a single crochet into this first stitch here so to create your single crochet just go directly into the stitch pull up a loop you've got two loops on your hook take your yarn and go through two loops and then go into um, the next stitch and place a single crochet and go into the next stitch and place a single crochet and place a single crochet into the next stitch and into the next stitch and then place a single crochet into the next stitch and just go ahead and place a single crochet all the way across until you reach um, the center and then I'll show you what to do then. So once you reach the center, you will be placing four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And now just carry on placing a single crochet into each and every single stitch on the other side of this V. And I'll show you how, um, until you reach the end of um, this row and then I'll show you row two okay so once you reach the end of this um, row don't forget to place a single crochet into the chain space here and then into the next chain here because those count the stitches as you recall and this is what you should have so now for row two and the last row of the border, you are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. Turn your work, and this counts as your first double crochet. And you are going to be going into that same first stitch here with two more double crochets. So just go ahead and place two more double crochets in this first stitch. Now go into the second stitch here with and that means you have three double crochets in total in that first stitch so now go into the second stitch with three double crochets one two three and then 
go into the next stitch with three double crochets one two three and then go into the next stitch with three double crochets one two three and just carry on um, doing this um, all the way across into every um, single um, stitch across including um, the um, space so the four um, single crochets you placed at the top of the V um, just go ahead and place three double crochets into each single crochet across and then I'll show you how to finish off this project. So as you can see I've almost, um, I have finished my border so now to, um, I've placed my last double crochet and now to finish off this um, project I'm just gonna pull this loop through well the yarn through the last loop to close off this project and this is what we have so obviously your project will be a lot bigger um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to um, like comment and subscribe and see you next week in the next video mm -hmm.